Systemic sclerosis is a disease where the body's own immune system, blood vessels, and connective tissues go haywire together. It starts with damage to the endothelial cells, which will release endothelin 1, and adhesion molecules that attract T lymphocytes. These T cells flood the tissues with cytokines, which activate fibroblasts, the body's collagen factories. The result is you get a thick, tight, fibrotic skin and organ damage. So if you're looking at shiny fingers, ulcers, sclerodactyly, remember the key cellular players are endothelium, T cells, and fibroblasts. Sclerodactyly, your tight, shiny skin over the fingers. The T cells, cytokines that activate and stimulate your fibroblasts or your fibrosis. Endothelial cells, which make your endothelin one and cause vasoconstriction. Calcinosis, ulcers, and telangiectasia also can affect the lungs, GI, and kidneys. Practice question time. 30-year-old woman comes with skin tightening and stiffness of her fingers. She also has Raynaud symptoms, difficulty swallowing, thickened, shiny skin. Which triad of cell types is going to be driving the pathogenesis? It's going to be endothelial, T, and fibroblasts. Some trap answers. Dendritic cells, neutrophils, that'd be seen in plaque psoriasis with your scaly arithmetic patches. Macrophages and Lingerhands, seen in granulomatous disease. Eosinophils and basophils, you to carry an asthma. That's a type 1 hypersensitivity. If this was helpful, like and subscribe for a new question every day.